What's up, hackers? Welcome back to the Exploit Lab. And today, we're diving deep into one of the most critical phases of bug bounty hunting, subdomain enumeration. In this comprehensive tutorial, we'll cover everything from installing tools to building a complete automated pipeline. We're going to discover hidden subdomains that other hunters miss, find forgotten admin panels, and uncover vulnerable staging environments. Stick around because by the end of this video, you'll have a production-ready subdomain enumeration workflow that you can use in real bug bounty programs. Let's get started. Before we jump into the tools, let's understand what subdomain enumeration actually is and why it's so important. When you're testing target.com, you're not just testing one website. Large organizations have hundreds or even thousands of subdomains like admin.target.com, dev.target.com, or staging.target.com. These subdomains often have, number one, outdated software with known vulnerabilities, number two, weaker security controls than the main domain, number three, different development teams with varying security awareness, and number four, forgotten assets that nobody maintains. As bug bounty hunters, our goal is to discover all these subdomains, because each one is a potential entry point. We'll use two approaches today. Passive enumeration, where we gather data without directly interacting with the target, and active enumeration, where we actively probe the target's DNS infrastructure. All right, let's get our hands dirty and start installing our tools. I'm using Kali Linux for this tutorial, but these tools work on any Linux distribution or even Mac OS. If you're on Windows, I recommend using WSL2. First, let's create a dedicated directory for our tools and word lists. The mkdir command with the dash p flag creates directories, including parent directories if they don't exist. We're creating three folders. Tools for our enumeration tools, word lists for DNS brute force word lists, and resolvers for our DNS resolver lists. Now, let's make sure we have Go installed because many of our tools are written in Go. If you don't see a Go version, let's install it quickly. The apt update command refreshes your package lists and apt install golang-go installs the Go programming language. The dash Y flag automatically answers yes to all prompts. Now we need to set up our Go environment variables. Open your bash RC file. Add these lines at the end of the file. GoPath is where Go stores downloaded packages and compiled binaries. We're adding the Go bin directory to our path so we can run Go tools from anywhere. Press Ctrl X, then Y, then Enter to save. Now reload your bash configuration. The source command reloads your bash RC without needing to restart your terminal. Perfect! Now we're ready to install our tools. Let's install our core enumeration tools. I'll explain what each tool does and how to install it. First up, is Subfinder by Project Discovery. This is one of the fastest passive subdomain enumeration tools. It queries multiple sources like certificate transparency logs, DNS aggregators, and search engines. The go install command downloads and compiles the tool. The dash V flag shows verbose output so we can see what's happening and at latest ensures we get the newest version. Let's verify the installation. Perfect, Subfinder is ready to go. Next is Amass by the OWASP project. Amass is like the Swiss army knife of subdomain enumeration. It performs passive reconnaissance, active brute forcing, and even ASN enumeration. Since a mass is available in the Kali repos, we can install it directly with apt. Let's check the version. Excellent! A mass is ready! 
Asset Finder is a lightweight tool that quickly finds domains and subdomains. It's fast and simple. This tool is from Tom Nom Nom, who creates amazing reconnaissance tools. Verify it's working. Chaos is Project Discovery's curated subdomain dataset. It contains subdomains from public bug bounty programs. To use Chaos, you'll need a free API key from chaos.projectdiscovery.io. Once you have it, configure it. PureDNS is a critical tool for accurate DNS brute forcing. It filters out wildcard responses and validates results, which means fewer false positives. PureDNS needs mass DNS as a dependency. Let's install that. DNSX is a fast DNS toolkit for running DNS queries. We'll use it to resolve subdomains, extract CNAME records, and check for takeovers. HTTPX probes HTTP services and extracts useful information like status codes, titles, and technologies. It's essential for validating live hosts. Gotator generates permutations of discovered subdomains. For example, if we find dev.target.com, Gotator can generate dev-api.target.com or dev01.target.com. Nuclei is a powerful vulnerability scanner with templates for subdomain takeovers. We'll use it to automatically detect takeover vulnerabilities. After installing Nuclei, Download the templates. This downloads thousands of vulnerability templates, including subdomain takeover checks. Let's install a few more helper tools. A new is great for deduplication. Unfurl extracts specific parts from URLs like domains or paths. Gao and Wayback URLs help us find historical subdomains from web archives. And JQ processes JSON output from tools like crit.sh. Let's verify all our tools are installed. If you see paths for all these tools, we're good to go. Before we start enumerating, we need two things, high quality word lists for brute forcing and reliable DNS resolvers. Let's download the best DNS word lists available. Enter the word lists folder, download J Haddix's comprehensive word list, Clone sec lists contains many DNS or subdomain lists. The wget command downloads files from the internet. We're grabbing jhaddix's all.txt, which contains over 2 million subdomain words. Then we clone sec lists, which has multiple DNS word lists for different scenarios. And finally, we get asset notes best DNS word list, which is highly curated. Now let's get fresh DNS resolvers. DNS Validator tests public resolvers and only keeps the working ones. The dash TL flag specifies a text list of resolvers, dash threads sets how many concurrent tests to run, and dash O outputs the valid resolvers. This is important because dead resolvers slow down our enumeration and cause false negatives. Always use fresh, validated resolvers. All right, we're locked and loaded. Let's start hunting for subdomains. Passive enumeration means we're gathering information without directly touching the target's infrastructure. We're querying third-party sources that already have this data. Let's start with our target. For this demo, I'll use example.com. In a real bug bounty, you'd use your actual target. First, let's create a project directory. Certificate transparency logs are public records of all SSL TLS certificates. When a company creates a certificate for admin.example.com, it gets logged publicly. We can mine this data. Let me break down this command. curl-s makes a silent request to crt.sh. The question mark Q equals percent 25 dot example dot com queries for all subdomains. The percent 25 is URL encoding for a wildcard. 
ampersand output equals JSON returns results in JSON format. We pipe it to JQ, which is a JSON processor. The dash R flag outputs raw text and square bracket square brackets dot name underscore value extracts just the subdomain names. Said slash backslash star backslash dot slash slash g removes wildcard asterisks from the results. Sort dash u sorts and removes duplicates. And finally, we redirect everything to crt underscore subdomains dot txt. Let's see what we found. wc-l counts the lines so we can see how many subdomains we discovered. Cat displays the file, and head-20 shows just the first 20 results. Nice! We already have some subdomains from just certificate transparency logs. Now let's use subfinder, which aggregates multiple passive sources. Here's what these flags mean. Dash D specifies the domain. Dash all uses all available passive sources. Subfinder queries over 30 different sources, including virus total, Shodan, certificate transparency, DNS buffers, and more. Dash recursive means if we find admin.example.com, it will also search for subdomains of admin.example.com. And dash O outputs to a file. This might take a minute depending on the target. While it's wetting, Subfinder is querying sources like certificate transparency logs, DNS aggregators like DNS dumpster, search engines, security platforms like Shodan and Census, and many more. Look at the output. We're finding subdomains in real time. Subfinder found even more. Now, let's use AMOS in passive mode. AMOS enum starts the enumeration module. The dash passive flag ensures we're only doing passive reconnaissance, no active DNS queries. This is stealthier and safer for initial recon. A MOS performs web scraping of search engines, certificate mining, DNS zone file searches, and much more. It's more thorough but slower than Subfinder. That's why we use multiple tools. They each have different strength. Now, let's get historical data from the Wayback Machine. Wayback URLs fetches all archived URLs for the domain. We pipe that to unfurled domains, which extracts just the domain names, removing paths and parameters. Then sort-u removes duplicates. This is powerful because it finds old, forgotten subdomains that might still be active but no longer advertised. DAO aggregates URLs from multiple sources, including Wayback Machine, Common Crawl, and URL Scan. The dash dash subs flag includes subdomains in the results. Now let's combine all our passive results. We're concatenating all our files with cat, then sort dash u removes all duplicates across all sources. Excellent! We've built a solid foundation just from passive sources. But we're not done yet. Many subdomains aren't publicly logged anywhere. We need to find them through brute forcing. That's all for part one. This video is running long, so I'll finish the rest in part two. I've added links to every tool in the description. If you have questions or want me to cover something specific in the next video, drop a comment below. Also, if you want daily bug bounty tips and recon tricks, Join my Telegram channel, link is in the description.